Hey legends, um, I'm Dan's brother. Um, I uh, created this video in tribute for Dan and I just want to thank everyone for their support and we're obviously going through a pretty tough time. Uh, so it's definitely hit me hard, I'll tell you that. But um, in, the, in this time, I've uh, been able to go through all Dan's videos and uh, photos and all the things that, you know, a brother would want to go through in this time. I've definitely felt it. Um, so I just want to say thanks to everyone for their support. And um, I also want to show you guys, um, I guess, what Dan's... cherish the most. Um, this uh, is a tribute to Dan. Uh, I really wanted to, I guess, uh, remember him and this was the, my, my way of remembering him. Um, and so I just want to thank ev all, everyone who's given me these videos and these photos that, I, uh, that I've asked to try and get in the last, you know, week. But um, I've found five consistencies in, um, in Dan's life through, you know, videos and photos that he had on his phone. And, um, and these were obviously his surfing and his surfboards, his family, his friends, his adventures, and what he got up to. And finally, um, I found a lot with um, him with uh, the animals as well. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>
colour, there's no diversity, language didn't matter, it didn't matter where you were born on, on the earth, it just, you're a human, and, and he taught me that, and, and if, you know, I hope you are out there, then listening to me, while I'm talking right now, tucked up in my car, so I could, I could try to speak some truth without anyone listening, but hopefully you, yeah, you really taught me that, you taught me that, bro, yeah, you taught me how to, how to, how to really love, and, yeah, accept people for who they were, who they are, and who they'll ever be, and that was, that's the biggest thing I'll take from you, you man, along with a lot of other things, and a lot of other good times, and I think the next question is, funniest memory, now I can't actually say that because of the people who will potentially listen to this <laughs> video, um, but there was a countless funny videos with Dan. I, I flatted with Dan in three different flats. Yeah, managed to get kicked out of one together. So that was awesome. Had a, a moving in party, which turned into a, actually into a, a moving out party as well. So <laughs> cheers Dan, we did that one together. Um, that's one of the funniest, but I won't go into the naughtiest, I guess is probably what I'm thinking of. But yeah, he was a cheeky bastard. We all knew that as well, but always in good nature. And again, you could never put that past him, and I'm going to miss that so much, that nature, that way he had. And yeah, and if I go back to that second question, what do I like about Dan? It was his way. It was, yeah, his way is the most beautiful way I, I could, I've ever seen, I guess. Like, it's next to none. You don't see that ever, and it is a shame we've lost him, and I'm gonna miss, miss, miss him a lot, so much, actually. But from here, I guess we can just take on his morals and his values, those beautiful morals and values, and and roll them into the future. So, cheers, buddy. That's been fucking epic. Um. Shit. When did I share a smile with Dan? When did I not? share a smile with Dan, <laughs> like, fuck, that kid knew how to smile, and he knew how to do it good as well, the ladies dropped at his feet for it, humble, hot kid, <laughs> he, he smiled all the time, so I, I don't even know when I didn't share a smile, maybe that's a better question, um, yeah, yeah, fuck, I don't even think I could think of a time when I, I was actually pissed off with Dan, or like, he was actually pissed off with me, and we didn't smile at each other. In the surf is when he'd smile the most, and there was no doubt about that. And he was he was a water baby, and we all knew it, and all his best friends knew it growing up with him. He loved the ocean. He loved surfing so much, and I've never seen someone love, love waves. Good, pumping, or just shit. <laughs> He'll be all over it, and that was so cool. Yeah. I'm always got a good attitude, so if you think the waves are shit, just think about what Dan would, would think, and I think you're going to have a smile on your face as well. Um, last question. Oh, what does this even say? Oh, yeah, okay. Fuck, shitty writing. Come on, Hades. <laughs> Get through this. So, who is Dan to me? Dan, I think Dan to me was, was love, yeah, love, yeah, he was love for sure, through and through, pure love, just unegotistical, whatever you want to call it, beyond the bullshit love, just beauty, <laughs> and yeah, he truly was beautiful to watch, like, yeah, at the beach or wherever it was, just the way he talks to people and would include people, and he didn't have a bone in his body to be inclined that that negative way. And I guess that that is who Dan was to me. It was just pure love. You know, I say it a lot, but the glue that binds us together. He was that. He was that in pure form. You know, and 
and he's really taught me how to love as well. So, yeah, man, again, if you're out there listening to this, I, I hope you are. Thank you so much. It has been an absolute pleasure to have you in my life and, and the path has led down. So much love. Yeah. How many triangles are there um, in a rectangle? Two triangles. No, it's not. Yes, yeah, they're fucking No easy. way. Mm. Nah, you get a mess for like you have triangles in <laughs> Fuck. Film, but fuck. Get him, mate. I oh, wasn't actually police. Yeah, yeah. No way. Tom, 
This is Marley, one of Dan's biggest fans. How do you both know Dan? Um, we know Dan because we've been neighbours since day dot. Grew up together since we were born. He's part of the family and one of our best mates. What or where were your funniest memories of Dan? Funniest, some of the funniest memories would be cruising around in the Camberdini, hitting Rally Corner, sliding on the bodyboards down at Sharps after heavy rain, yeah. digging and doing bike jumps in his backyard. We had a full bike path going, headland heel clickers. <laughs> and we'd get mini bikes from the tip and spray them up. We, yep. we used to have our moto trucks running through both our houses, through the back gate. Something we won't ever forget. Where or when did you, where or when did you share a smile with Dan? Pretty much always share a smile whenever you're around Dan. Um, also, whenever we're surfing, whenever we're skating, yeah. just doing anything, motorbike riding, bike riding. I used to carry rocks out of tampon reef and make a little slab. And that really worked. <laughs> Who was Dan to both of you boys? Dan was like the middle brother. He had to stand between us and stop us from punching on. Yeah. He's one of our best mates. Someone we're going to miss forever. Love you, Dan. Love you, Dan. Well, I woke up last night, couldn't tell if I was dreaming I thought I saw the face of an angel and I heard her speaking to me She said, my boy, don't fill up your head with trivial things Cause life's too beautiful for you to leave Just like periscopes up in the sky well, I have never seen a girl as beautiful as you In my whole life And things don't always go the way you plan them But if you're rolling with the flow Well, then it makes it easier Makes it easier to bend To you is truth enough Just like periscopes up in the sky Well I have never seen a girl as beautiful as you In my whole life And things don't always go the way you plan them But if you're rolling with the flow Well then it makes it easier Makes it easier to bend Up in the sky Well I have never seen a girl as beautiful as you In my whole life And things don't always go the way you plan them But if you're rolling with the flow well, Then it makes it easier Makes it easier Just like periscopes up in the sky Well I have never seen a girl as beautiful as you In my whole life And things don't Let's go the way you plan them But if you're rolling with the flow Well then it makes it easier Makes it easier to bend
Voilà. Fuck you. <laughs> it's a good story. <laughs> Look at him. I reckon he's coming too. He's coming. Got any peanuts, Dad? Hey, big fella. Got any oh, peanuts? Yeah, hey, mate. Oh no! Let's zoom. Damn, girl. How do I know Dan? I know Dan from the first day I ever had at Little Lee Bar. I remember I surfed my first heat with him. Uh, and from that day on, we were best mates. What do you like about Dan? I think what I liked about Dan the most was how... He was just always the person that was so excited to do everything and he always made you want to do that just as much, you know. If you weren't really that excited to do something, he'd always just be the first one to want to go surf and he'd make you excited to go surf and just everything he did, he was always the keenest person to do it and it always just brought the best out of everybody else. That's what I liked about him. Where were your funniest moments with Dan? I think the the funny moments that we had together and with all our mates are just, there's too many to count, but we had a lot of good times out at Sharps, down Lennox Beaches, um, all the camping, surf trips we did. But I still think the funniest thing that I ever saw Dan do was when he threw an egg at a car. We were all doing it, but he threw an egg at a car and to see the look on his face when he realised that the person driving that car was his neighbour and then watching his mum make him go say sorry to her. Oh. When did I share a smile with Dan? I can safely say that I shared a smile with him every time I saw him. The guy was, he was nothing but happy to see you every time. Every time you were with him, he was always happy and laughing and made you laugh. But yeah, there's not one time that he made me smile because it was every time that he made me smile. It was every day that I was with him. Who was Dan to me? Dan was, he was one of my best mates. He was... He was always the guy that was there for you. He was always there to make you smile. He was just an all-round good guy. He was, he was always the one that would make you go surfing. He was always the one that wanted to do something. He'd always be there to help people out. He was just one of the best people I've ever known. And I really miss him. Really, really miss you, mate. Hey, I'm Jesse. I'm Jade. And I'm Drew. And we're, we're Dan Dan Daniel's cousins. cousins. What do you guys like about Dan? Dan always had a big smile on his face and lit up the room. Most kindest person I've ever known. And mainly that just that goofy laugh and every time you've seen him, you made everyone else happy. What were your funniest memories with Dan? Uh, funniest memories with Dan was the first time I went to Byron with a mate and uh, we nearly got into a fight with his friends. And he came running down the street and he's like, that's my cousin, <laughs> don't fight him. <laughs> that's about it. Probably one years with Dan when he had a bit too much to drink. He was swinging the ping pong bat everywhere. It made a few holes in our brand new wall. He was just so happy and funny about it. It was, it was great. Uh, you know, one of my favourite memories, last Christmas we spent down here in Tasmania. We uh, had a holiday house and uh, we had a big night out. Went to the casino, obviously lost our money. And then, um, yeah, we came back to the holiday house and we ended up jumping in the bush, pretty drunk, and then, yeah, almost got knocked out. <laughs> <laughs>
did you share a smile with Dan? Um, every Christmas, every gathering, every time, I, every time I saw him, we were always smiling together. Yeah, I don't think we ever didn't share a smile with Dan. Every time we were with him, it was just some of the happiest moments of our lives. Every single time.
like about Dan? What I love about Dan is that he always thought about everybody else before himself. He is the most gorgeous soul that I could possibly know. Where were your funniest memories with Dan? Dan spent a lot of time at my house at our gatherings and all I can hear now is his laugh, his infectious, infectious laugh. How do you know Dan? How do I know Dan? Dan was my little nephew, um, one of the Hawkins, one of the Lennox boys. What do you like about Dan? Oh, what do I like about Dan? I always liked Dan, he had a smile on his face every time I saw him. Mm. Loved having a chat to him about the surf and it just laughed. What were your funniest memories of Dan? Um, I suppose I've got a few, but I mean, the Christmas we had down here in Tassie, we just laughed non stop for a week. Um, yeah, probably watching him fish and just watching him play cards with the boys and drink and just laugh non-stop. We got them home and bit into them and had two big bites, ended up with all butter in my mouth, or my one, which happened to be, I'm thinking I must have Daniel's burger, so we went to swap and his had the same thing all over it, and then I rang them up going, told them which I've told you, and um, the girl there, what was the name of the lady I rang? Mm. Yeah, that's her Alicia or Tisha or something, yeah. And and she said we don't put butter on our burgers and I'm going, What? It was just aioli and I said, How come it's yellow and tastes like butter? And she goes, Well the buns are infused. What are they called, Daniel? Infused. Uh brioche buns. Brioche buns that are infused with butter. And you're allergic to butter. Yeah, well, that almost hospitalised me. So, um, because I'm allergic to it. So, so what happened was when I went to hospital, it sort of came right, and I sort of kind of ended up going home and puked about ten times and went to bed. So, I guess in future, when I do come in and ask for no butter, that someone tells me that the buns are actually infused in butter, perhaps. Maybe I could come back another day and you can give me some fish and chips to make up for it. Look, we'll do that. I'm more than happy to do that. That'll do. No worries. Yeah, will you be happy with that, Jane? Yeah. And sorry about that. Just let us know next time. Um, if there's any um, allergies or anything like that, we'll definitely try and cater for No worries. All right, so just come in and ask for Simon or Ruby. Yeah. And just explain uh, who it is, and um, I'm, I'm usually on um, most of the time on weekends, Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, and what's your name? The time the week, Simon. Okay, cool. Simon or, or Ruby, Ruby's normally here. Yep, so easy. Um, just ask one of us. Okay, sweet. We'll Thank you. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. Are you okay now? You're feeling a lot better? No. <laughs> Still getting no, over it. Are you on the road to recovery day? You should be okay. Yeah, I rang me mum. She said I'd be all right. So. <laughs> It's got 20% butter infused in it, it nearly killed me. Yeah, well, is it, is it, are you just uh, allergic to dairy, are you? No, butter. Dairy? I was blown up with butter when I was a little kid in New Zealand. Oh, okay. A whole yeah, rubbish tin full of it. Do you want to hear the story? Yeah. More than upsetting. Thanks, Simon. All right, no worries, mate. I'll, right. I'll speak to you soon. Yeah. Okay. See ya. Bye. Come on, let's have a gun. Stop talking about allergies. See you, Tom.
Fucking let me go. <laughs> Fuck him up, boys. in the bubble in my life. Boom! Well, he's a little dick. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Stepdad chat, we're really close, um, so we'd always be around there, um, hanging out and, and watching them play pool and running around being lunatics at, uh, at their place in Sharps. So, funniest memories uh, with Dan, far out. This one's from a while ago, I don't even know if he remembered it, but uh, we were, we were uh, at, at Hawk's place uh, with everyone, mum, mum and Chapa there, Kay and Hawk. Me and Corey uh, went and lit one of the paddocks where the school is on fire and it caught a f caught on fire really bad. 
Um, Dan was with us. He was only tiny then. He probably would have been four, maybe five. And we ran off and left Dan there. So <laughs> uh, he came running back screaming and freaking out. Um, so it probably wasn't the funniest memory uh, for him, but it was, looking back, it was a pretty funny memory. We nearly burnt down half the shafts. All right, so Dan to me, uh, you know, he was like family, and um, I feel like he was like that with with so many people around Sharps, around Lennox, around Ballina. He was, I, I, I'm sure he made himself feel like he was family to a lot of different families and a lot of different people, um, and that's because he was such a beautiful, kind person, and he's going to be missed forever. That big smile, that big hoot when he's out in the water. It's it's gonna it's gonna be hard not to see it. Um, I shared that, shared heaps of smiles with him. He was always smiling. Um, that's what I loved about him. Uh, you could always uh, have a good chat. He'd always be really friendly out in the water. But that was when you you knew he was his happiest when the waves are good and um, you know and he was you know always had a good vibe out there and he's always smiling, always hooting. Uh, good guy, really good guy surfer. He's really good surfer. Um, yeah, loved having, loved being in the water with him. A couple of really good days last year, last winter at Norfolk. Had some really good days with him. A couple, couple of good barrels he had in front of me that was sick. And just seeing his head when he's coming out of them. I can remember a few, few good afternoons at Norfolk. Uh, oh, everything. He's a really good, really good, kind, really nice person. And, and uh, just love, love surfing and... and Loved hanging with his mates, um, you know, everything. Just seeing his big smile whenever you're out in the water. And uh, yeah, it's good vibes. She always just put the pastry inside of. Now, I can't even say or spit it because every time I think of a word, I just want to quit it. Like Quidditch of Harry Potter. She tries to spell at me and make me want to be her daughter. <laughs> So deport it from the tummy. Show me. Dorothy's cupcake store keeps you coming back for more. Dorothy's cupcake store. Dorothy's cupcake store keeps you coming back for more. Dorothy's cupcake store. Shoot it, da da da. As you walk into this parlor, nothing was ever a disaster. Don't you dare put it past her, because she makes the best pasta. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Real saucy. Crazy and shit. Tell him about it, Tommy. Dorothy, Dorothy, Dorothy. Big brown legs, small skirt. She's really, really cute. The way she talks, you might think she's a flirt. Uh, cause she grab you by the nipple. Uh, give you a little nipple cripple. Yeah. Sell you four cupcakes. One blue, one pink, one purple, one green. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like a dream every time you set your eyes on Dorothy. Well, to the cupcake store, think you bought a back for more. Mm. Dorothy's cupcake store keeps you coming back for more. Dorothy's cupcake store, Dorothy's cupcake store. Dorothy's cupcake store keeps you coming back for more. Dorothy's cupcake store. So get this. <laughs> <laughs> We're all on that page. Yeah. 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 So nice. So. Dorothy's cupcake store keeps you coming back for more. Dorothy's cupcake store keeps you coming back for more. Dorothy's cupcake store keeps you coming back for more. Dorothy's cupcake store. Keeps you coming back for more. Keeps you coming back for Get this station, cause Dorothy, she'll be your salutation. And don't even be maiden, because this girl will start creating this idea in your mind. You will not find the time to develop anything. I can only think of rhyme. And 
as I'm sitting in the grass. Ooh, it sends me in a blast. And the fire's moving, and my heart is grooving. It's beating, and I know that you're fleeting back to reality. Don't look at me, Drew. I will look straight through you. Uh-huh. And I will put you into a kind of trance state. And that's the thing. <laughs> Start up these cupcake stall Keeps going back for more Dab at these cupcake stall Keeps you coming back for more Dab at these cupcake stall Keeps you coming back for more Keeps you coming Dab at these cupcake stall Keeps you coming back for more and if Dorothy, she was walking and talking, and baby, would you keep on choking off the white boy? And I'm not a part of your hood. I'm looking back, and together we will afford a new life, a new wife, a reason to create the treason, to be create trees in a new garden state where me and Tommy are about to make you rebate and make something new of your life so you can come back with a brand new power or strife and tell me don't you tell them don't you tell them (laughs) 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 Dorothy's cupcake store keeps you coming back for more Dorothy's cupcake store keeps you coming back for more. Keeps you coming. Dorothy's cupcake store. Dorothy. Dorothy's cupcake store. Dorothy. 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 Cupcakes everywhere. Dorothy. Yeah. Dorothy. 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 Purple too. Purple haze. Yeah. Purple haze. <laughs> purple haze. Purple, purple pink rainbow flavor. Flavor. <laughs> Baby, with every single flower mm, that he gave her. Dorothy's cupcake store, pink ribbons on the door. Dorothy's cupcake store, there's a dildo in the corner. (laughs) 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 Just like, you know, casually, just a dildo. Big black veiny thing on the floor. Holy shit. Peter Pan. Mm. I'm a mysterious creature. And yeah, sometimes he could beat you. Emotionally, but I was always lost in the sea of something that would drag me into the into the zone, Dawson brings you home. He makes you feel like you are his dog's bone. He always makes you feel like you are feeling. He always feeling and gives you the healing. Dawson got this way to be, and this man can just make you understand and see that life is meant to be happy. This man is Dawson all the. <laughs> that was a good rhyme. Come on, Al, give us anything, anything. Dan the man. Yeah, you're uh, Martin. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dan the man. Dan the man, man, man. Dan the man. Yeah. Dan the man, man, man. Dan the man. Dan the man with the plan. He cooks for eggs on a frying pan. Yeah. He said he was Peter Pan. Well, I think he's right because he needs a. Uh, I don't know what to say next. I'm going to pass it on. Dan makes you wanna shun Cause he makes me tickle my cunt <laughs> Nah, sorry I'm not old <laughs> <laughs> You 
I'm trying to say something, but I'm so stoned I can't move. <laughs> 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 say anything. <laughs>